Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Racing, and they face Atletico Mineiro. Hi, Derek. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, hasn't it? It's not been an easy road for them, but all those players out there will be looking forward to this 90 minutes. A cup final, trying to make history for their clubs. The manager will be saying to them, keep your cool, don't make any silly mistakes, and let's see if we can put a trophy in that cabinet. Looking forward to this. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. This is the lineup for the visitors today. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Gracias por estar aquí. Esto empieza ya. And the game begins. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Can he take the chance? And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defense. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around me? He's got no chance. Might be a chance here. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Lee, what did you make of it? Yeah, their two goal advantage in the end was just reward for their good play today for me. Worthy winners. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Atletico Mineiro, and they face Racing. Well, thank you, Derek. Really set up today for a cracker of a game. Got the advantage from that first leg. What do the home side do? What do the away side do? Do they attack from the start? They need to put the pressure on. And he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team.
plays it back. Can he put it away? And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And he's in. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. A chance to revisit the goal. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, in with a chance! Surely! And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Well, he's lost it. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement, or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Moving into the advanced position. Really good interception. He needs to clear it here. Oh, what's the keeper doing? In it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, we're going to see the replay. The goalkeeper won't want to see this again. He gives the ball away. Still a bit to do, to be fair, but it's his fault. A chance to revisit the goal. Inside the final five minutes now. That pass could be troublesome. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box and he's never going to miss that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? the Recopa Sudamericana issue has been settled well disappointment on one side but sheer joy on the other and it's never bad to lift a trophy at any time of the year Lee. no a trophy's a trophy you set out the start of the year with goals you try and hoover up as many prizes as you can and they've done that today and they'll enjoy this moment and why not a competition that goes all the way back to 1988. And now they are about to receive their prize. Retained by Conmebol at all times, that trophy. Conmebol, the governing body for football here in South America. Well, it might not go at the front of the trophy cabinet, but it is a trophy, it's a win. And they'll enjoy it, there'll be a party after this. 
and the skipper will share this with his teammates. The Recopa Sudamericana victors. And they're determined to save on the moment, Lee. Absolutely, and why not? There's another 11 players further over on the other side of the pitch who are not celebrating. a big part of the story and the players appreciative of that yeah and absolutely should be going over get as close as you can try and share the trophy with them they've traveled a long way over the years following this team and they deserve a bit of fun as well i think they're having a lot of fun as we speak and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front.